Hey everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to my channel, Brick Dynasty. I've been doing my research on the retiring sets for 2023 over the past couple weeks and my process is pretty meticulous. I pull up the Brick Fanatics website and look at the latest retiring list. They publish a projected retiring list every at the beginning of every month and I essentially go on eBay and search each set that's retiring. Seeing what it's going for, I sort by lowest first, buy it now, and new. Just see if it's going above MSRP, how many sellers there are. I'll also check sold listings to see if there's a lot of demand for this set. And in doing my research over the retiring list for July, I noticed there was a set that I haven't seen anyone talking about. And that set is set number 40461 Trader Tulips. I haven't seen a single Lego investing channel mention this set. It has a retail of $9.99, but currently on eBay, it's going for a minimum of $18, buy it now, new. And on Amazon, the buy box is $20.99 with only 43 sellers. This is a great sign for this set. That means not many people are aware of it or buying it for investing. And this is a set that we can take advantage of as Lego investors, um, we're in the know to be ahead of our competition. This set is currently under technically under the creator line, but it pairs really well with the botanicals line that I talked about in my last video with the Birds of Paradise set. That's the first technical botanical set that's retiring this year. Um, but along with that, this tulip set is the first of the creator smaller flower sets. So right now the Lego creator theme has five creator flower sets and those are the roses the sunflowers the daffodils tulips of course and the lotus flowers all the other four sets are not retiring this year so that means people who are just starting to collect these flower sets starting in 2023 and beyond are not going to have this tulip set and they're going to want it because they want to go and collect all the flowers lego pe lego collectors love collecting every single one of a set in a line so that's one reason why i really like this set Another plus for this set is that it's a Lego store exclusive and online. So the only place you can buy this set is through Lego themselves. Online, the limit is five per account. So if you're wanting to build up a large quantity of the set, you're going to have to go in store and buy a couple at a time, two or three, maybe once or twice a week to build up a quantity over time. Or if you have a couple stores in your city, you can hop around once, uh, once or twice a week to each of the stores to build up quantity. So while this is a plus for investing, it's also a negative if you don't live near a Lego store. My personal plan for this set is next time there's double VIP points with a gift of purchase and using a cashback site like Rakuten or Honey, I'm going to purchase all five of these set so I can get the lowest buy-in price that I can. And anytime there is another one of these promotions like I just mentioned and I'm in or nearest Lego store, I'm going to stop in buy as many as I can, maybe three, maybe four, as many as they'll let me. And that's how I plan on building up as much as I can of this set. I would really love to get maybe 30 of this set, but we'll see at the end of the day how many opportunities I'll get to purchase this set. As long as I can get 20% off retail this set after subtracting the gift of purchases and the cash back and such, that's gonna be plenty of a discount I'll need for the set because I'm confident that it is going to go up uh, quite significantly after retirement because it already has. So to summarize my points, I really like this set because it is selling for well over MSRP on eBay. It has a low-end buy-in price of $9.99. I think that can easily go up to $30 within a year after retirement pretty easily as long as it goes out of stock on Lego near or around the end of the year. I'm also a big fan of it because of the low supply. As I said, only 43 sellers on Amazon and the only place you can get it is at the Lego store. So the opportunity for people to invest is gonna be a lot smaller. So that's why we need to take advantage of this. One note, I just wanna make sure people know that uh, none of my videos are financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my journey with Lego investing and I really encourage you to do your own research. With that being said, I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Please comment down below any thoughts you have about this set. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? And if you want to continue to see more LEGO investing content, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks everyone.